I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that we are live on twitch.tv slash Asuma because Ollie and Andy are throwing bananas at me. Wrong screen, says Ollie95XZ. I don't believe so. Wrong screen, what does that mean? Spangle move bananas. Thank you, Spangle. Let's, uh... Right, I'm, try I'm trying to use my phone. I'm trying to use my phone. I am putting a timer directly in front of me. I don't want to forget about my tea. Okay. There comes a time in a man's life where he realises that he needs to manage his tea better. Okay. So I have been using <laughs> my, my kitchen cooker timer to remind me when I hear the beep beep to go down and pick up the cup of tea. Now we're taking it to the next level. When we're streaming... We're going to be le using a tea reminder timer thing as well. Very cool, right? That way, hopefully, I'll glance at it and I'll go, Oh, I need to be drinking that. So in about, about 12 minutes, we'll probably start drinking it. Roman Empire II says, Wow, no pre-stream. That's correct, no pre-stream. So the deal is, uh, I just put a snapshot video out. I didn't want to spam you all with another video. Uh, what I probably should have done is gone and had lunch and then streamed after. But hey, I decided to do it the other way around today, so... We'll see how this goes. I am, um, yes, um, streaming and I don't know what I was going to say then. Humbly B says this is quick and unexpected. Gilgore says, how s it's going X and chat? Uh, it's going good. Spangleboo says you don't trust us to remind you anymore. We can try and do a better job, I promise. Oh, it's not a matter of trust. It's just that I've learned that I'm I'm bad at spotting the tea reminders in chat. I'm I'm good at hearing alarms, so that might work. Uh, Wodong says saw your city skylines video yesterday. Don't worry about the beard, brother. I shaved mine off a couple of days before you. Sometimes you just got to restart a beard. Uh, Wodong, um, I when I first shaved off my beard, like after I grew it, I think I probably, you know, sort of had semi-long beards for a while. Well, not even long actually. Um, never been a fan of like clean shaving, right? So for the longest time I have had a fair amount of like hair on my face But then I started to wanted to grow it Viking length, right? And uh, and I kind of you know got a little bit closer on occasions then trimmed it back And then I went Viking length and after a while it became a bit much and so I shaved it off and I regretted that But when I grew it the second time I actually took care of it really well beard oils lots of combing shaped it really nice and uh, and then I shaved that one off. And that's what I regret. I, sh I shaved off the good beard. You know? Uh, what I want to do is now regrow this beard. And take even better care of it. And never, ever shave it again. Um, but uh, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of getting over it now. Like, I <laughs> really did feel gutted that I made such a silly decision. But then it's just like, after a while you've got to be like, eh. we just got to get on with things here. Um, so I got I got something to do over here, and I'm just thinking about how am I going to do this, and a rather good idea popped into my head, so I'll show you that in a moment. Um, we're going to peel this down, and I'll explain what I'm doing, but first of all, I've got to explain while we're hearing these little noises in my ear. Um, incubus, or ink, no, ink? How did I manage to read that? Love Cubs Gaming is here subscribing. <laughs> Love Cubs. Of all the names I've butchered, I went from love to ink. I, I can't explain it, but I appreciate your support. I hope you're going to enjoy today's stream. We're going to be working on the swamp over here and the black hole as well. A lot of people wanted me to um, have things getting sucked into the black hole. I also had some people telling me it weren't realistic, and I thought, oh, geez, well, show me a realistic black hole in Minecraft, and I'll be very impressed. Because uh, black holes, they warp and bend space and time. And uh, there's the whole thing with the event horizon where... Man, I love watching videos about it, but I never remember stuff. Like, I thought, oh, I'm going to sound so smart right now while I explain a black hole. And then and then my little brain was like, uh, uh, I don't know. All I can picture is Neil... Neil... D oh, I can never say his name properly. Let's call him Neil Tyson. I can just picture him being really smart and saying lots of clever stuff. <laughs> oh, thanks, brain. That's helpful. X, uh, your black hole looks great, says Ultimate Bandas, and he kills you. Thank you, man. I uh, I like how it looks. I think it looks awesome. I really do. I think it's looking great. It's a cool project, something totally different. Um, so what we need to do is create a layer of dirt, right? One lower than what we currently have. 
and I figured I'd be underneath this building for ages, but then it kind of hit me that if I stood where I am right now, we can build it downwards and outwards just by like this. So that's all we're going to do to begin with, and then we'll move on and do some other things after, you know. Just one thing at a time. We're taking it easy over here. Uh, Vankabag says, X, be careful with the concrete. Oh, I'm going to be super careful. In fact, that's part of why we're doing what you're seeing me do, is so we can protect the concrete. It's part of the concrete protection uh, operation. You know, got to protect our environment. Um, I don't think... Hmm, I kind of need to be running down there a lot, actually, so let's leave that open. I was about to say I don't think we need to, but we do. We definitely do. I need to chop down those trees as well. I need to put the torches back up the top here. They are important. And uh, it looks like I didn't go all the way around over to this side, did I? So that's where it meets up with the regular landmass. Cool. Right, do I have torches? I do. That's good. We're going we're gonna to use them. Just watch the uh, snapshot video, says Lorelli. Cool. Cool. Hope you liked it. It was fun to make. Good news. 1.13 right around the corner. Hello, Asuma in chat. How is everyone today, says Sveniki. Sveniki! Hi. Hi, buddy. Uh, I'm good. So I hope chat is good. Are you good, chat? Are you good? Uh, six minutes, peeps. Six minutes. The timer is working. I'm looking at it. So if I look at it in another six minutes, then all will be good in the hood, you know? Uh, the Cactus Monkey says, make some trees sort of falling into the black hole. It'll be really cool. I might do. It wasn't my plan to have stuff falling into it. Like, it wasn't a black hole black hole. It kind of was. I don't know. I just wanted this ominous, like, void from the ground below. It's more like a sinkhole than it is a black hole, I guess. But even that would make sense to have stuff falling in. And since so many people are requesting it, I guess it's probably a good idea, right? So, maybe I need to take that more seriously. Uh, Bugman CX is here, resubscribing for 20 months in a row. Thank you so much for the wonderful support, buddy. I hope you're uh, enjoying this stream we're doing over here. A little bit of a bonus stream. Just a little bit of a bonus. And I believe I put my bed back in my ender chest. So let's go grab it. Grab it like a rabbit. Rubbish Dave says, Hey X, can I call you Amazing Dave? Amazing Dave says, Hey X, don't know if you read the last email I sent you, but I'm sorry if I upset you. I haven't read my emails again in a few days. You've just reminded me that I have neglected to do that. I'm usually good at checking them every day, but uh, every now and then I just I just kind of forget. I don't know. Black Sinkholes says Psycho Sire. Yeah, we could call it that. I love rabbits, says Spangleboo. I like them too. I saw some the other day at the farm. They were wonderful. Uh, rabbits are like the one creature I really wish were uh, more like cuddly and domesticated. Like They are so unbelievably cute. Isn't nature amazing? Can we just take a moment to appreciate nature? Nature, you're very cool. Sorry about all the rubbish stuff we're doing all the time. That's, that's no sort of apology. Uh, apology? Uh, I guess it was an attempted apology. Nature, says the cactus monkey. I know nature. Uh, they taste great, says Asuma's voice. I um, I believe I may have ate rabbit once, but can't really say if I remember what it tasted like. Yeah, I, I, th I think I've eaten rabbit. I'm not sure. <laughs> nature hype, says Spangaboo. Can we get some nature hype? Nature's happening right now. Look outside your window. You might see something like a bird flying. <laughs> the cactus monkey says, Animal killer, leave the rabbits alone. Hey, I might have been hungry. Anyway, I can't even remember if I actually ate it or not. Diaz is here resubscribing for four months in a row. Saying, four months, geez. Felt like yesterday. Speaking of nature, nature candy is great. What is nature candy? Why do I not know of what this nature candy is? It sounds wonderful. Is that like, is that actually something really obvious that I should know and I'm just not thinking? Just not thinking about what it is. Nature candy. Rabbits are for snuggling, says Spangleboo. They'll try and get away if you cuddle them. They'll try and get away. Well, it rains. Is it nature as well, says Al79. 
nine. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure where envir oh, sorry, environment. I'm not sure where nature. Like, what is the truest definition of nature? Does it include the environment, the atmosphere? I don't know. I bet someone out there figured that out. They're smart enough to go. Hang on, we should have some clarification here. Is fruit a nature candy? Says I Iguanachi. Ah, that might be it. Fruit is wonderful. I like fruit. I've got a big old fruit bowl of fruit salad in my uh, in my fridge. That's gonna get eaten. I'll tell you now. That's gonna get eaten. That one. Uh, Amazing Dave says, "Of course, you may be calling me lots of other things if you read that email." Okay, oh, I'll, I'll get round to it eventually. Um, let's see, what have I got coming up? I've got to make a Hermitcraft episode, let's play Minecraft together episode, and and then I've got to start working on some videos for when 1.13 is out. So I've got a busy week ahead of me now, and I've had a couple of, uh, I wouldn't call them lazy days, I've had a couple of interrupted days, let's say, where uh, productivity has been halted, but I'm, I'm ready to get back on the boat tomorrow. And that'll be with some Hermitcraft. And in the evening, a City Skyline stream. Man, I, I'm super like loving that game again. I, I really would like to make a series. I don't think it's the right time to make a series like that on my channel. But uh, certainly inspiring me it is. Uh, wait, 1.13 is coming soon, says Spangleboo. Spangleboo, are you telling me that you've been watching this stream and that you haven't simultaneously been watching the video I just posted on my chat? Goodness me, what sort of viewer are you? You only got one brain, is that it? You only got one brain for one stream. Oh, I don't know what to say about you. Jeez. Uh, Ollie95XZ is here with a cheer saying YouTube recently recommended me some of your old videos. Mostly mini games with other hermits uh, slash YouTubers. Really enjoyed those one off videos. Are you considering to do such videos in the foreseeable future? Maybe XVX poll to find out if other peeps would be interested too. Uh, Ollie, the answer is I'd love to. It's just. It's just a habit that you've got to get into, and in these days it's easier than ever with realms. That's something I might uh, bring up at a Hermitcraft meeting, is like, why don't we why don't we play these realms maps together and have some fun doing that. Um, also, it's interesting you mention that because I have been seeing uh, Cub fans' old tutorials recommended as new videos in my little sidebar screen, so maybe they tweaked an algorithm and all, all the stuff just sort of shuffled itself around and started recommending all kinds of craziness you know it's YouTube I don't think they even know how it works you know we changed the setting over here from from two to three and now all your old videos are being are being uh, shown that's that's the, the YouTube way I guess right let's go down below and pick up some torches and dirt that fell down here and I've got to drink some tea real soon so let's make quickly with this. Ollie, thank you so much for the support, man. Appreciate those bits. As always, hope you're enjoying the stream. The Cactus Monkey says X no worries doing 1.13 videos. I can do them so you can get some rest. Uh, I, I enjoy making these videos. I'm on about the Secret Changes video. Uh, there might be two of them this time around because I've, I've found a lot of Secret Changes in these updates. Uh, my goal... My goal... Well, it's not really a goal. It's just a nice thing. Um... One of the devs tweeted it out a few years ago. They watched the video and there was actually three changes I found that they didn't know about. And I thought that was cool. My plan this time is to, uh, is to do that again. Because I've got such a large list. I think I've got a pretty good chance of uh, finding something out the devs don't know about. Right, now I think it's time for a little bit of tree chopper after we drink some tea. Tea, then tree. Tea, then tree. It makes perfect sense. Princess Sheep. Has subscribed Vams and Prime. Thank you for your Prime subscription. I hope you're enjoying today's live stream. I appreciate that support. Arf Trooper says, Assume on the bottom of the one of your bridge pillars, place a block of cobble and then a cobble wall to give it the effect of falling into the hole. Oh, a cobble wall. I think I know what you mean. Lop Loopster says, I've tried telling him. What have you tried telling me? Let's have a, let's have a flicker over the chat. Ah, Diaz says, The hot bar. I haven't fixed the hot bar. Alright, we happy now? Uh, Andrew says, I just want to say that my game from 18W1980 Snapshot is not launching anymore. What should I do? Uh, load a backup. Hopefully you made one of those. As you know, when you update, it gives you the option to 
do the backup in game, which was brilliant. Always make backups, beeps. Um, I think it needs about another minute and then it's good. Doesn't have a lot of milk in that one. So here's the thing. Um, I, I'm working on a Hermitcraft 1 video of all things. Jeez. Um, I was going to delete my Hermitcraft videos, but then I thought, well, one thing I should do is, you know, play them through. Maybe I could do something with this as a little send-off video. And I decided to put all the intros together. And in doing so, I became rather nostalgic for that season. And I realised that, like, it's probably a good idea to hold on to this stuff. I mean, it's it's not what I like doing, holding on to things. Um, especially when it costs you money to then go and buy a hard drive, which I had to do. Um, brought a hard drive for it. But I realised, yeah, there is there is that slim chance that YouTube does that thing where it randomly deletes channels. You know, we've all heard the horror stories of, I got flagged and my channel's gone. And if ever that happened to Hermitcraft, I would actually be, like, really sad if I couldn't go and watch the Hermitcraft videos again. So I guess you kind of look at YouTube like it's an archive, right? And to collect every video that I've ever published, that would be, you know, crazy amounts of gigabytes and a bit over the top. But the one series that's meant the most to me throughout doing YouTube, um, I've still got those files. I think it'd be really nice actually to hold on to them. Um, because who knows what's going to happen with YouTube. And if it all goes, like if your channel goes for some reason, I mean, of all the videos you could pick to hold on to, it'd be those ones, right? So, I figured, yeah, okay. And then, then I decided not to think about it because I brought something and then I get stressed out about, oh no, I'm using too many resu precious resources. Precious resources. Um, so I brought I brought that and decided not to think about it again. <laughs> uh, Malco Zui says, do my eyes deceive me or is it an Asuma stream? It is an Asuma stream. Your eyes do not deceive you. And I am now talking like this. Jeez, right. Very good. In the hood, homie. Okay, let's put that there. Evil Asuma won't let Season 5 end, says Iron Man. People talking about Season 6 is why Season 5 won't end. Jeez, don't y'all know the rules? Don't y'all know the rules? Okay, so now what we can do is we can let the water flood in. But we're not going to do that. We're going to place down some cha-cha trees, first of all. Of course we are going to get our treeage going on. I guess we can get some saplings and wood from up there. And it all needs chopping down, so that's what we'll do next. Is that how it works, says uh, Love Cubs Gaming. Yeah, uh, last season, no one talked about it for a week, and so we started Season 5. Uh, Amazing Dave says, Hey, speaking of all Hermitcraft episodes, have you ever compiled any statistics on total number of hours, Hermitcraft, including streams, episodes, seasons, etc.? Yeah, I did do a, uh, I, like, I did tweet out some stuff, like, years ago, probably, about Season 4, and, like, total amount of hours. Um, I was trying to figure out how it counts up because I put all of the episodes in a timeline and I had, I think it was like 9 and 35. And at first I went, 9 hours, wow. And then I thought, no, that sounds really short for 133 episodes. So I started looking into it and I couldn't figure out like what it was counting. Like, when did the hours, because it didn't go 24, It went, I think it went to like 60. So does that mean 60 hours is because... Hours like, you know, 60 seconds is an hour. Sorry, is a minute. 60 minutes is an hour, but then it's 24 hours for a day. So, what is it counting to? Anyway, uh, maybe if you want to know, it's possibly 60 times 9 plus 35 hours for season 1. I'd just like to say you have got a great voice, Suma. Thank you for the nice message, my man. That's very kind of you. Iron Man says, who's going to win Hardcore Hermits 2? Um, I'll let it. I'll let it unfold. But I've got to say, at, at this current point in time, we don't know who's won yet. Uh, my team have finished playing, and we are super confident. <laughs> You're going to see a lot of cool stuff in our series. Um, we did really good, I think. And the next series is uh, being prepared. Actually, I'm going to. Oh, I need to get that sorted out at some point. Yes. But yeah, the next series is being prepared. So after season two comes season three, right? And uh, that's going to be an even, I think, an even more fun challenge. Wait, didn't I stop to go? Yeah, in the bed. And uh, we're now at 19 minutes, so this cup of tea should be perfect. At what point are the Vex going to start repranking people? Says D and D Mencheng. I have no idea what their plans are. 
Saga Sai says 575 hours. So you did the math. Here's the thing. If it's that many hours with 133 episodes, how many hours is each episode? Right? It, it doesn't make any sense. Mmm. Uh, Amazing Dave says, I've forgotten now, but season 4 counting live streams was several days worth of video. I kept track on season 4. Awesome. Yeah, it probably would have been, wouldn't it? I hear noises out my window. Tidmouth Milk is saying, uh, really wanted to play along with the last series of Hardcore Hermits, but my PC won't run snapshots for some reason. That is rather odd, my friend. Rather odd. Uh, Zero Sniper is here subscribing with Tier 1. Zero Sniper, thank you for your subscription. I hope you're enjoying the stream today. Having a good time hanging out with us. That is three hours an episode, says Roman Empire the Second. Exactly. So something's up. Something is really up with um, how it's calculating the total time. The Nick Greenway says, X, any word on the Let's Play Minecraft together? Reset up a woodland mansion. Without it, people can't get all the achievements because of the world border. Uh, it'll be done soon. It'll be done soon, my friend. I am currently doing a Hermitcraft episode, and then I'll be doing a Let's Play Minecraft together episode. Um, and in that episode, I'll be unlocking all of that stuff. So it should be in a few days you'll have the Resettable Woodland Mansion and Resettable Ocean Monument as well. Uh, those are two things you'll be able to do. And... Uh, and there's some other goodies that come with it as well, but I won't tell you what just yet. We're working on working on some cool stuff. Some cool stuff's being done. Bam. Let's get back on top of here. These are always a pain in the butt to uh, to chop down, right? You've got to find all the logs, and eventually it'll start decaying. Wow, resettable objects. Cool, says Roman Empire the Second. Uh, I wouldn't call them objects, they're structures, right? Resettable struct. Well, we don't have to get into specifics. Um, if there's any other stuff like that you think needs to be resettable in the game, best to let us know. Um, we had a polar bear dealer on the vanilla server. Um, and I think we might bring some similar things in again. However, I think it'd be more fun to turn things into a mini game. When you have some resources that on a large server just ain't going to be shareable in that way, like parrots can be very difficult to get. I think it'd be a great idea to create perhaps a mini game instead of just a, a sort of like, here you go, have a parrot area. Hmm, that's giving me some ideas. My brain's ticking over. It's doing brain smart stuff. Uh, we've got another noise in the air. It's Unhinged Assassin. Uh, Resubscribing for two months in a row as a tier three subscriber. Thank you so much for the support, man. Appreciate it. Hope you're uh, enjoying the stream we're doing here today on the Ermit Craft server. The Ermit Craft server, did you say? Let's go over there. I think that might be the final log, hidden away. Stopping all this wonderful decay from happening. Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Spangle boosters don't do parrots. That would put my pet shop out of business. Um, well, it might put it in business. Some people might not want to play the mini games. You can play those all day long, Spangle. It'll be about not beheading people. <laughs> The mini game is to stand in this room and don't behead someone. Oh, you'll be terrible at it. Man, this tea is like piping hot. It's been it's been made for about 25 minutes and it's still really warm. I find 20 minutes is when it starts to cool a little. Uh, Mr. Viskman has subscribed. Mr. Viskman, thank you for your subscription. I appreciate that. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Man, today's been a hot day here in the UK. It's also been a bit of a weird one for me. I've been talking about sleep a lot lately, right? And I did a run the other day, so with my running, I've been improving greatly. And then I could only run for about 35 minutes. So I, I could have maybe pushed myself further, but I, I, I knew I'd only got six hours of sleep. And uh, I, I kind of thought, that's probably the reason. Let's not go overboard. Let's, like, recover and try again. So when I next run, which actually might be tomorrow, I think I might try... Um, I am going to, yeah, do that on eight hours of sleep. Um, and I thought I got eight hours of sleep last night. Went to bed early deliberately. But man, today, I don't know if it's the heat. Something sucked the energy out of me. When I was trying to work out, I was, I felt exhausted to the point where it felt like I was lifting really heavy weights. Like it was, it was a tough workout, and I had to take it slow. 
And I didn't know if that was like, you know, my composure, just, you know, a lack of sleep tends to signify something's wrong. Um, all the heat, but man, something took the wind out of my sails today, you know. We had it rain all day and it was cold, sad face says Barbie. I mean, cool, the rain sounds nice when you're sick of it being hot. I, I am, I've got to admit, I think I'm a fan of mild weather. Just just things not being too, too one way or the other works for me. Um, generally, sunny is obviously lovely. Sunny's wonderful, but sunny comes with the heat. Right, what are we going to chuck in here? Some of those, some of them, some of these. There's another one of those. Bam. Right, and we've got lots of these logs as well now. I uh, actually need those saplings back. We're collecting those. We're going to go grow some trees, which means we need some bony meal. Let's go grab that. We'll take uh, we'll take these bones. Wild bones. Grey of Sunshine says, I like sunny with uh, a little bit of clouds. Yeah, the clouds come along and they break it up, don't they? They break up the sun a little bit. Carl O Gaming says, Hey X, remember me? I believe so, I recognise the name. Spangle Boo says, Boo Boo, Asuma said he was growing a Viking beard. I was looking for you. I was growing a Viking beard and then I shaved it off because I'm an idiot. But I'm going to grow it back bigger, stronger, better, and even faster. I'm going to grow the beard faster. I was literally thinking, what makes hair grow faster? Does eating lots of fibre help? Jeez, I uh, <laughs> eat a bowl of fibre every day, just desperately trying to make it grow. Zero Sniper says, uh, you need to do, a, to do a rest or day or two between exercise times unless you work on different muscle groups for different days, Mr. X is Eros Nova. I do. I uh, rotate the groups of muscles I work when I work out. Um, yeah, and basically my thing is work out for two days, then run. Work out for two days, run. And that's what I do over and over again. Now, over here, um, the shape of this, I think just needs to be pushed back a little bit around here. This don't quite look so right, does it? And then probably go back a bit there as well. Uh, we kind of need that there, I think. Now, I think that's probably good enough just for this bit here. That'll probably be fine. That's just something that I wanted to work out. Actually, these blocks here as well. Yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a straight line overhang is the problem. So maybe what we do is push it back a little bit. I'm really not sure where this is going to end up, um, but for now, let's do that. We can start building. Doing your workout, chopping down big old trees, says Buzz D. I'm, I'm doing my Minecraft workout, chopping down those trees. That's what's going on here. Alright, let's get some bones into uh, bone meal. There are a whole lot of B vitamins, which... Wait, there are a whole lot of B vitamins, which specifically, question mark. Now, do you supplement vitamin E or get it like almonds or something, says Diastron88. Um, I don't take any supplements, really. I have wondered about doing it here and now. I just have a balanced diet, because, uh, you know, if, if you have a good mix of foods, you'll probably cover most of the stuff that supplements offer. Seems to be a, a good logical way to approach it. Grey of Sunshine says, What would you get out of a resettable nether fortress? That's a good question. Probably not a lot. I don't think now, I don't think a resettable nether fortress sounds quite right to my ears. Let's, uh, let's put a tall one just in about here. We like to have a tall one every now and then. Bam, very good. Bit of tree hugging going on over here, that's what I'm seeing. Ah, we've got to do all of this now, haven't we? All of this shebang. Ah, that means I need my stone pressure plates. Let's go grab some of those. Also, this area is going to need uh, a little bit of lighting hidden in it, because mobs will be able to spawn over here. That's something I didn't really think about before. I use a gel pill for vitamin E. 
and a super B complex vitamin, says Wudong. <laughs> B vitamin equals boat vitamin, says I leave my helium. Then it Greenway says, X, do you think it's realistic to finish the buying project or will you leave it for us to finish the well download? Uh, at this point, I'm just I'm just enjoying doing the project and uh, motivated to to build and to have fun playing. So it's just gonna it's just gonna you know continue on that path for however long it does. Aha, that's what I came back here for. Let's convert about half of those. And now I'm wondering, should I put carpets on top of some of the blocks over here, or should I put in lighting? I think. I think we're going to end up with like a glowy bit of the biome clearly stretching around here. But uh, if that's the case, we'll probably go put torches down in other places as well. I feel like these edges here are probably going to need some trees as well, actually. Oh, oh, is that how it is? I see, I see. Now, where will we put the light sources? Maybe glowstone down there? Fat Pike puts a hand in the air. Hello, hi. Asuma, do you have any new hermits in mind? New hermits? I believe uh, I believe the group of hermits we have at the moment is is the hermit craft group. Bam, let's take that. Hi, trees are so meta, says Iron Man. They're meta. Interesting. Interesting way of putting it. Right, now I guess a good idea would be to get these uh, trunks in place for these new ones. And before we get too carried away, let's make sure we put down those pressure plates. Those are important, otherwise we get too much cha cha going on. Uh, why there be why there be ones over here? They ain't been done properly. Oh, they ain't been done properly. They ain't been done properly. I'm not actually sure if I were doing them that high up, but hey, they are now, right? Jeez. Jack-o'-lanterns under the water, or would that be the wrong orange? We could put we could put carpet on top of the jack-o'-lantern. I really like the sound of that, though. Had a little creepy face in the middle of the area. Could be pretty cool. This one's kind of tall. Let's uh, let's have some big old trunk coming off of it. You on there and on here. Digital Monk says, X, have you always been the leader of the Hermits? Uh, no, I haven't. Um, Generic Beast started the server. It was sometime after he left that I sort of pulled us all together and said, look, we need, we need some direction here. We need some sort of leadership. And then I essentially became... I like the word steward. Because um, I think, I think like, if you're a leader of something and it's your idea and you've put it together, then you can take, like the artistic direction with it, whereas I don't feel like that's mine to do here. My, my role is just to keep things moving. He is more creative mode, says Roman Empire the second. What? This isn't creative mode, I'm pretty sure we're playing in survival. You saw me chopping down a tree just a second ago. Cheeky chap. Telling me that I ain't playing in creative, I can't believe it. Right, um, let's go for that. Let's make... More of these, more of them, more of those. And let's enjoy this wonderful Lord Leviticus record. I have grown to like this record very, very much. Uh, don't remember thinking too much of it when it came out, other than obviously it's some good Lord Leviticus music, but uh, it's grown on me big time. Ollie95 says FYI he knows but doesn't update because they would then take a percentage of his bits. Ah, you responded. Okay, so there is an update to Streamlabs, but uh, with this update they take some of your bits, which I was a bit like, oh, do ya? <laughs> that doesn't sound right. So, uh, I haven't updated. Can keep using this one just fine. Mmm, some delicious tea. 40, 34 minutes and it's still pretty warm. Can't believe it. I Iguan Archie says, I've always loved the chill music you play. Awesome. Here's the thing. I reckon I reckon with music, repetition is key sometimes, right? Like, uh, 
a lot of people have expressed that they like this music after hearing it a lot. And I think that could be the same with most types of music. If you just keep hearing it, it'll make more and more sense. Obviously the music has to be relatively good. And this is some relatively good music. Definitely. But uh eh, that's all just uh, that's just what I think about the power of music. Let's put one of those on there, now we need some more. Good thing we chopped down that tree actually. We end up using quite a lot decorating our trunks. Uh, should we make you a wonky one? We'll make you a wonky one. Wonky tree, we like it. The wonky base. Uh, Digital Monk says, X, have you ever throw of getting a mug warmer to keep your tea hot slash warm? Uh, I have, but I've read that the USB ones are, aren't very good and are pretty much a waste of time. And also I figured, you know, why use extra energy? Just, uh, just be a little bit more efficient. We could all do with a little bit more efficiency on this planet, I'll tell you. And uh, Michael Crazy. Michael Crazy has subscribed. You're crazy for subscribing, Michael. Appreciate you using your Amazon Prime subscription on me. I hope you're enjoying the stream, having a good time hanging out with us today. As uh, we, we play some Minecraft working on the swamp. It don't look much like a swamp just yet, does it? In fact, it looks really dense compared to uh, some of this over here. Uh, maybe not, I don't know. See, this is like wider and there's more space. I think we're getting it right. I think we're getting it just about right. Let's put one over here. Half Trooper says, I'm super sad about Let's Play Minecraft together. For the past year and a half, I would have given anything to play any game of UX. Um, then about a month or two ago, I stopped everything Minecraft besides your videos. Then Let's Play Minecraft together comes out and I'm too far out of MC to get back in, says Half Trooper. Uh, that's fine, man. Don't worry about it. That server's going to be... Um, there for some time, if ever you feel like getting back into it. Uh, it'll be around for a while. But I know how it is, yeah, sometimes you just lose the spark and that happens to me a lot with uh, games besides Minecraft, you know. Hey, it even happens a little bit in Minecraft, every now and then you just, like, like with the Biomes Project, I just got kind of burnt out on that. Um, so don't worry about it too much, man, there'll be other opportunities in the future, I'm sure. Uh, X, when will Hermitcraft Season 5 end? Any plans, says Billy. Yes, um, we're ending Season 5 in one week exactly from when you sent that message. However, oh, if someone else mentions Season 6, then uh, we'll have to reset the timer again. Oh, peeps, we, we, we'd almost gone another hour. We almost got an hour closer, didn't we? Jeez, almost an hour closer. Digital... Monk says, to all those who have said something about Grian, has he even expressed interest in joining Hermitcraft? I believe Grian has expressed uh, interest in, in joining in one of his videos. As you've seen, though, he's got the Evo server now. That, that place looks fantastic. I really enjoyed watching that. X, could you sing Everybody Derps for us? Everybody Derps for us. There you go. I sung it for you, didn't I? Right. Uh, I sung exactly what you said. Jeez. Um, what did I come back over? You distracted me successfully. Well done. Uh, I actually really don't know why I walked over here. Ah, stone. We need stone. I'm going to be mentioning season six at 12 noon every day now for the rest of the year, says Edam Cheese. Damn it! Damn it, can we get some 2019 Hermitcraft season six hype in here? I'm tempted to mention Season 6 every day or two just to maintain Season 5 forever, says a, bof a, a boffin. Oh, a couple of people are trying it now, jeez. <laughs> Randy Nicole says, X if you like, we'd be glad to time out those who ask about Season 6. Randy, you can you can be my guest, but people are asking all the time. Uh, I'm only messing around, Randy. Probably not probably not a great idea to time people out for asking that. I'll just get upset. 
Please add Shrek to the Hermitcraft server, says Harrow. Shrek was in the Hermitcraft server on Season 2. You know, Shrek had his moment. Okay, he had his moment. And he enjoyed the view from, uh, from the side of a mountain. That was great. I love, I love the Hermitcraft seasons. Like, <laughs> just thinking back about all the crazy adventures and things that got built. It's awesome. Uh, yes, I feel like Season 5 still has some time left. It hasn't dried up too much, I guess you could say, says uh, Miguel. Exactly, there's loads to do on this season still. I mean, look at all this craziness we've done so far. Let's keep it going. There we are, there we are. I think the general height of this part of the biome is going to be lower. Also, the uh, the, the tree-like branch colour kind of changes a little bit, which looks cool. This, this music is great. This is some nighttime music going on right here. I'm finding ones that I've missed. I can't believe it. How could I do such a terrible job? Season X confirms is surprise helper. My oh my, imagine getting to that. Uh, we got a noise in the ear from what is Ari? What is Ari is here? Subscribe with Amazon Prime. Thank you for using your Prime subscription on me. I appreciate that support and I hope you enjoy today's live stream. Roman Empire the Second says, X, I find it funny that you have never talked about the volcano while you were building it in the videos. Uh, sorry, what? <laughs> never talked about... Do you know how many comments I got about, X, stop talking about that volcano that you're building? Every other episode, you know, I would do a little section on it and people would moan about it. Ah, there we go. There we go. Uh, Backer Carter says, Can I get a shout out? You want me to shout out of my window? That doesn't make any sense. I don't even see a volcano. You are nuts, says Birdie. What? I don't even know what to say to you. It's right there. Are you being a troll? Are you being a filthy troll? Right, that looks good. Getting a little bit thinned out round on this side, aren't we? Let's put uh, another tree here. Yeah, just one right there. We won't, we won't put too much trunkage down for this one. Just uh, that little bit, I think. Wait, assume it has a volcano, says Isorex. Jeez, it's right there. It's right there. Love your accent, dude, says Carl Gaming. Oh, I'm glad you like it. It's an accent from the U of the K. There's lots of accents from this place, though, so that's probably not helpful. That ain't no volcano. It's just a big old pile of stones, says Sergio Dup. I mean, you could say it's not a volcano because there ain't lava inside of it. There's a base inside of it. And it is a big old lump of stone. I'll give you that one. I have been punching out quite a few torches working on this. I think we'll go get some jack-o'-lanterns next. Magical music. I love it. Where's the lava, says Ashman. It's all the way at the top. X asks Vintage Beef to join Hermitcraft again since when he start. I mean, he hasn't left. He's still a part of the server. Oh my god, I always see YouTube videos in times too. It appears that you are speaking in slow-mo, says PRK2. Well, it could just be that I am talking... No, I'm not very good at doing that. <laughs> Carla Gaming says you should make some lava flowing down the volcano. And obsidian at the end. I'm actually going to leave it alone. I, I don't want to have flowing lava down the side. I, I felt like it would be a little bit too static. You know, like when lava's flowing down the side of a volcano, it's active. Uh, this ain't no active volcano, so... Hmm. I'm just wondering, it might not be a good idea to place too many more of these trees, because... Um, we kind of want it to thin out a little bit, so we're going to have another biome thing going in this space. And I actually really like that, it's kind of cool. Yeah, you do see a fair bit of the ocean though, right? That's got a different vibe about it because of that, and the leaves changing colour is another thing. 
Hi X, how are you doing today? Says uh, Bokio Margi. I'm doing great, thanks for asking, how are you? What are we doing next? Jack-o'-lanterns, right? Oh, I see, I see, I see what we need. Uh, that is the wrong one. That is the wrong one. This one right here will do the trick. Right, more torches for us. More jack-o'-lanterns for that area there. Let's not actually make a cray-cray amount. Because that would be cray-cray, wouldn't it? Uh, we also got tons of dirt, man. Let's chuck some of this dirt away. Sweet. Half Trooper says, Finds Asuma very entertaining. Who does? Who would be entertained by this derpage? I don't understand. Billa says, X, you should add particle effects to the black hole using wall or concrete. I, I didn't want to go I didn't want to go that way. I, I know there's like I could make it more black holey, but it's it's supposed to be more like a sinkhole. You know? Um, that's the kind of vibe I was going for at least. Ah, we also need to put something on top of this. Like grey wall. Alright, chat, if you could pick one of the old hermits back on the server, who would you pick? Mine is hypnotized as a super warrior. Hypno hasn't left Hermitcraft. I find this funny. Like, the other day there was a comment about let Biffa join the server, and it was like, hey, Biffa's a hermit. <laughs> Light grey wall. I think we'll try that. We'll try that one. Or maybe the stone... Well, the stone pressure plates will then have a border around them, right? So if we put that on top... Which you can. I was watching, I was watching, as I talked about earlier, I was watching a Hermitcraft Season 1 episode where I built a tree farm. And I was talking about the floor design. And I was watching the video and I was like, man, like, even back then I was just always interested in these quirky little details going on. And then I was talking about how I was worried that you couldn't put a pressure plate on top of a jack o' lantern, but you could. So I remembered that. That's cool. But we're going to do it that way around. Now what you might, actually what I might do is I might hide this even further. I think maybe the occasional jack-o'-lantern face poking out would be cool. But I think I might try and surround these with even more blocks. So let's try and get one at the base of each tree. And hopefully that will be a good amount of lighting for what's directly around it. And then we'll try and put a few extra blocks around it as well. X, let Notch join the server, winky face. <laughs> Musical HB. If Notch ever wanted to join, I'm sure that would be a thing that could happen. Make Evil X a YouTube account, then have him upload videos every other day, says VMC7645. I mean, that would be a lot of work for me to do, wouldn't it? Uh, we got a noise in the ear. It's a cheer here from Eagle Fam, throwing bits of me with a love heart. As always, Eagle Fam, thank you so much for your support. It's greatly appreciated. I hope you're enjoying our swampy adventures. Let's put one right there. We're expanding the Achacha woods, trees, things. Ah! Uh, we're expanding them around uh, around this area. And let's continue with that. Bill Gates should join the server, says Billa. Let's just let's just get anyone who's remotely famous on the server. I mean, not saying that Bill Gates is remotely famous. Jeez, I think that's a household name by now. You know, <laughs> household name because of Windows. Oh, uh, uh, who's who's punny? Who's punny today? Let's put this one right there. Oh, oh, I put the wrong thing on you. Spangleboo says, "Silly Sumer, why would you be editing Evil X, Evil Sumer's videos? It's almost like you're suggesting you are the same person." I know, right? I know. Like, how how could I edit someone else's videos? It just doesn't make any sense. I don't think Evil X has the capacity to make videos, you know. He managed to uh, he managed to break onto the server a couple of times, so give him that. But uh, editing a video, I think, is a bit beyond his, his skill set, you know. Not trying to be mean on the old chap, but a uh, bit beyond him, I reckon. Oh, and that's it. We're out of those, are we? I will take those four. You're putting carpets on lots of pumpkins, says Jakoda. That is the idea. You're putting pressure plates on the lanterns. I'm getting some confusing messages now. Ah. 
Aha. Got that one the wrong way around. Any others? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well spotted peeps. They're, they're, they're a little too similar, aren't they? A little too similar. Oh, dearie me. So that one's done. Wow, that's quite a lot of them that I uh, did wrong. Huh. I <laughs> thought it would have been one or two. Might as well go check all of them then. Assume I just take the pressure plate out of your games. What? Out of your hotbar. Oh, right. That was chat moving too quickly for me. Jeez. Thanks, chat. Stop sending messages. No, please don't. The messages are fine. The messages are lovely. Right. No! Wrong thing. I'm going to put you there. And last of all, let's have one there. Right, we've got room for one more, actually. And that's a uh, job sort of done. So now we need to go grab Podzol Grass. And actually, I think, yeah, Podzol Grass and Coarse Dirt. Three things. Let's see if we can remember them. Yeah, it's just completely remove the pressure plates from the game, says Green Shadow. Remove them from the game. That's what the other person was saying, wasn't it? Remove it from the game. Just send Mo Yang a letter. Just ask them to delete something. Slim chances of that happening, peeps. Uh, Port Adele will win the AFL Premiership this year. Change my mind, says Harrow. Uh, I don't know what that is. Therefore, changing your mind. Don't know. You did it again. Pressure plate on the last one. Wasn't the last one under a tree? Pretty sure the last one was under a tree. Right, so we need some coarse dirt. We've got that. We need Podzol. Which I think I have very little of left. But I should have some chests lying around somewhere with Podzol. And some grass. The grass is going to be in here. Right, so we've got grass there. Let's go find some Podzol and check out that last thingy my bobber. Let's punch out some of these torches and see uh, see what happens with mobs spawning over here. Maybe we'll see one or two of them when we get back. Oh yeah, look at that. It was wrong. Cough, cough. Furnace minecart, says Sagasai. What about the furnace minecart? Uh, my wings are set to break real soon. And we're inside. And we're inside the base. Let's go check out what's happening in here. Where the pods are at? Where's the pods old party? That's what I need. A pods old party right now. I'm sure, I'm sure I have a stash of it somewhere. Maybe it's over here now. Amazing Dave says, I remember those three things you need, right? Let's see, it was glass, redstone blocks, and uh, quartz, right? Stop trying to confuse me, man. I just need to remember Podzol. Jeez. It's the one thing. I've got one job. It's Podzol. It's a lot of seeds. I'm not sure. Hmm. If any of these chests are going to have Podzol in. Well, that area doesn't have to have Podzol, does it? And I don't think... There is actually going to be anywhere with pods are. Well, that's a bummer. If Twitch chat is linked to X's in game chat, how long will it take until a slash stop appears, says Shizuku. I don't think they're linked like that. In fact, they're not even linked to begin with. <laughs> oh no, I don't know. I mean, I've got extra stashes of stuff here, but that's definitely not pods are. So I guess we'll just leave Podzo out. It doesn't look like I've actually got it. Assume down at the hole in the middle of your base, you should put a very low light level source in the area under the grey carpet, like redstone torches. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea at all. By the way, is there a portal inside of the witch hut? Let's go check that out. Surprise Tulpa says, I believe it would be pronounced as Pods Oi. At least that's how it's pronounced in the language uh, this word came from. It might, it might technically be. Um, each, each like side of this place is supposed to have a portal. Ah, I think we need to put a portal in there. Also, if we listen carefully, we should hear some moaning and groaning. 
Yeah, there's there's like monsters hidden under the trees in this area. I meant Podzool, says Surprise Driver. Oh, okay. I used to play a game called Zool when I was a kid. It was based on candy, of all things. Well, sort of based on candy. For those of you that played Zool, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, we've got to think about where the trees might be dropping down over here. No, I think I think we've got it good. I think we should focus on putting some blocks in these sorts of areas. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. I don't want to bring too much water into this area yet, and bringing the water in is probably going to be a good helper in figuring out where things need to go. Uh, we should also remove the grass because it will spread downwards. Now is maybe not the time to actually do this. Yeah, because it's going to spread down and cause a nightmare. Let's make sure we didn't leave an extra uh, grass block in there somewhere. Kind of looks okay to me. I think the next thing to do is to build up the black hole a little bit further then. It's snapshot day, says the cactus monkey. I'm very aware of that because I uploaded a snapshot video. Asuma, you should connect the secret door in the mountain to the paths outside. Oh yeah, the secret door. Forgot about that. Where does that even come out? I think it comes out just somewhere there. Yeah, it's probably just somewhere here, and I've forgotten about it. Wonderful. I might have even disrupted it when I was building all of this, although I didn't see any redstone. Hashtag snapshot video plugs this Bangaboo. That's right, yeah, on the on the YouTube channel there is a video about the latest snapshot. If you're interested in that, you can go check it out. You can go, go, check, to check, check, check it out. Jeez, I'm trying to sound like a rapper, not very good at that. Harry 9 says, why not make it a safety buffer at the edge of the biome in case you left some grass behind? It's not the end of the world. Uh, it's not a matter of having a buffer, it's a, a matter of the grass spreading over all of this dirt. Um, I'm not going to put the water in yet. Basically, um, what I like to do when I stream is do stuff that like aids the videos. So, what you're seeing right now is like not stuff that I would record. So when I when I start recording the video, I'll uh, I'll talk about what we're doing and what the next step is. The next step is to bring the water in, which I think is something you want to you want to do in a video, make it look interesting, show the process. But we've done the grindy stuff first, so that's kind of that's kind of the way I do things. So what we'll do now is we'll work on that area below, since that's something uh, probably everyone here knows how it goes. So we've got our concrete, we don't want water anywhere near that. Anywhere near it at all, and uh, we need some stone blocks. We can go down here and, and finish finish building this up. Tidmouth Milk says, why do I feel like X always reads the comments just after mine? Um, <laughs> I was going to say, and the comment just after Tidmouth Milk? No. It's just the way it goes, isn't it? Sometimes you get red, sometimes you don't. Joel Kipp says, two thumbs up for that song. It is so hot, here is this song. Just oozes coldness, it's chilling you down. It's, it's calming you out, is it? It's a cool song. Yeah, I feel like this bit here needs to get built up. Let's, uh, let's cut out some more of this. All the way over to that area, very nice. And this, I think, is going to have some stone in too as we build it up. So we should probably go grab some of our uh, stonish blocks. Looks like it's already got some cobble there. And one of these should have... Hmm. Um, hmm. Doesn't seem to be here at all. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so there's our andesite, our stone and our cobble. I guess we could do a little bit more cobble. The Cactus Monkey says, Asuma, finally before you today with my snapshot video. I'm always trying to get before you so I can get a, some tags and up to 300 views. Otherwise, you take all the tags and I get no views. Cactus Monkey, that's the game, unfortunately. Um, get creative with your tags, though. Misspelt words. I don't misspell uh, snapshot. Maybe you could... Uh, try that one in there as well. But yeah, that's the game. I know what you're talking about. Uh, for the longest time, dude, I was I was like that. For years, I was 
doing snapshot videos and I get them out really early and they get views for a while and then some of the big namers would come along and and then that would be it and uh, and then uh, over time somehow I became the, the snapshot video guy and it's awesome it's awesome I just I know it's hard when you're competing X how long after 1.13 do you think let's play Minecraft will be updated the Nick Greenway, I've been told that it will be a matter of uh, days or weeks. Um, but they're supposed to be very quick at updating Spigot, so it could literally be a matter of uh, days and then we can update it. But uh, a lot of the tech might need to be disabled if we do that quickly, so it's uh, it'll be an interesting one to see what happens, that's for sure. But we want to get it updated nice and speedy, of course. Uh, let's put one there. Uh, no, let's take that one back. It's time for the organ song. Why are you listening to organ music, they say? They always say it. Oh, all oh, they like to talk about that organ music, didn't they? I think this thing's going to come out a little bit higher than it needs to do at the moment. Let's put that there. Oh, oh, I'm falling, I'm falling. I love cats, says, are you saying that I ain't smart, Stellian? Well, I got some of them. What's this? What's this going on? Fight, fight, fight. No, I'm joking. I've never encouraged that. Hey, X, I like the song, says Tommy Craft. It's cool, isn't it? It's really cool. Organ music be powerful, man. Pete's been listening to this for a very long time. Right, and here's where it gets to the overhang bit, so we'll probably probably wrap that up like so. Time to raid false again, Asuma, says the Cactus Monkey. Uh, I'm not doing a raid just yet. It's full streaming because I did want to go and prank her. I've uh, I've had something on my sleeve for a while I was planning on doing. <gasps> false is streaming. Brilliant. Right, we'll, uh, we'll finish this up. i got another thing to do and then we're going to go and prank false. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Uh, anyway, let's... Uh... Oh, we're also going to prank Mumbo as well, by the way. Let's go... Um build this area up a little bit. Try and get it looking interesting. Uh, we'll do... Actually, we'll take that one back. Bam! And I think that is looking pretty swell. Swell. I'm trying to bring it back. We need to say swell more. Not swell. Swell. Okay, let's go under there and do some of the bits under the overhang. I really enjoyed the misspellings on Cub's Jarvis machines. This cosmonaut. Ah, have you noticed that? Have you? Have you? Has Cub noticed that? I think. I think I did. I think I saw him mention it in his video. Uh but uh, I guess I guess I forgot about that. It was something that I was going to say later on. So, Cosmonaut, you have you've spotted it. You've got me talking about it. So, I didn't just prank Jarvis the way you saw in the video. I also went and renamed every single one of the names to be slightly misspelled. And the plan was that Cub might not notice. He did, I believe, notice at one point. But a few got past him, and it sounds like maybe a few more got past him as well. There's some deliberate misspellings and and stuff like that. Make a mumbo spoon, says Phoenix Star. Oh, just you wait. We're going to do something. We're going to prank mumbo later on. Our Trooper says, when you see the newbies uh, to the streaming thinking he's serious about the prank. Oh, my days, jeez. Oh, my days. Our Trooper knows I'm a pro pranker, you see. Uh, Bobby is Yoda is here. He's subscribed for 23 months in a row, saying you're the best ex. Thank you for the lovely message, buddy. Appreciate it. And thank you for your support, man. You know what I'm going to say? You know what I'm going to say? One more month. Diamond face. I was going to say Goldie. It's not. It's diamond face time for you. Ah, I'm forgetting something in this area, peeps. We need some carpets as well. X, you should do a series of Mumbo and Iskal together. Like Hermitcraft. And we can invite other people like False. And uh, and Scar and Rendok and, and Stress. And many others. Ponybutts is here. Resubscribing for 30 months in a row. Saying, 
Hot damn, two and a half years. Let's go. XVX hype. Pony, as always, appreciate your support. Thank you for the continued uh, resubbing. Uh, you sent me some emotes the other day, and it was in the middle of me doing something. I opened that, and I went, must remember, and then I had to go do something else, and then I forgot. And now I remembered. So I did remember. So I can't be angry at myself. Brilliant. I found an excuse. I found a loophole in my own self-criticism or something. Uh, Pony, thank you for the support. Uh, poke me again on Discord, but not, not right now. Let me actually... Uh, I need to delete that thing I put there earlier. Bam. Uh-oh, I might have just done a bad thing. Uh, let me type something to the admins. Okay, I might have done a very bad thing. Uh, so I'm going to close Discord and we're, we're just going to forget about that. <laughs> I might have just done a very bad thing. Assume it in the forest opposite side of the bridge as the front of the witch, but as a random piece of jungle wood. Hmm. I don't know what you're trying to say there, after but it feels like a suggestion, but I'm not sure what it is. Ponybutt says, I got tonight, tomorrow night, then no more work until Tuesday. Awesome. Long. Oh no, no, next Tuesday. Is that a long weekend or is that like a week and a bit? Either way, enjoy your time off, Pony. Use it wisely! Okay, I know why we're here. It took me a while to remember. It took me a while. Oh, but I was fishing through these because I thought I would have left the carpets over here somewhere. And I did. Goodness me, I didn't even notice. Well, the brain kicked in eventually, didn't it? Oh, yes, it did. Right, so somewhere around here... Oh, it might actually start a little further back. Right, Mushroom Island. Ocean. And then over here I can't actually tell. So why risk it like a biscuit? Let's just go fill in those ones, just in case. And we'll just fill them all in from this point, I think. And that's what we've got to do now. We've got to chuck some of those on top. pretty simple. I feel like uh, this is quite flat this area. Let's build the occasional one up. Otherwise it'll all be a bit the samey, I think. Bam! We got a noise in the ear. There's a noise. It's in my ear. Who is it here? It's Scythe Kitty. Am I saying that right? Uh, saying cheer, 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 cheer. Haven't been keeping up with the streams, but I always love your content. The difference in time zones has always been a problem. Ah, that's unfortunate, but thank you so much for the bits. I'm glad you're enjoying the videos as well. Um, this is this is a little bit earlier than usual that I normally stream, just so you know what's going on. And, uh, bam, let's put one of those up there. And yeah, I stream earlier in the, in the weekends. The weekends have sort of been changing up a lot because I've been doing the Let's Play Minecraft together stuff, so I try and put it more in the middle of the day rather than the morning. Right, I think I think it touching the uh, the dirt at the top might not be a bad idea. I'm not sure we're going to do that all the way around, but we'll do it here for now. Yeah, we'll do it on that little spot. Uh, Mr. Fart Face Gaming, X. I came from your new snapshot video. Mr. Fart Face Gaming, what a name! I mean, I wouldn't call myself Fart Face. It doesn't sound very nice. You know? But hey, whatever you want to call yourself, fine by me. Fine by me. Even if it is kind of gross. Peeps, that reminds me. If you're coming over from the snapshot video and you haven't hit follow over here on Twitch, feel free to do so. You'll get notified of when the derp goes live and you'll get some quality derpage action. Which I'm sure you're fiending for. I'm sure you need your derping, didn't you? Who here is from the snapshot video? Let's have hands up in chat. Spangle with a tea reminder. Spangle, my tea is dead. I turned off the timer because uh, I drunk it all. Okay, it, it got drunk. The tea got drunk and it tried to start a fight. Yeah, let's go as high as that. Bam.
And we got lots of hands up in chat. Funky Coaster says from Twitter. Thanks for following me on Twitter, buddy. I occasionally tweet about things on there. Can you believe it? You need to increase that derp counter, says Tolbert's game. Why? Why would I need to do that? I haven't derped at all this stream. It's been a wonderful derp-free stream so far. Why am I getting Rick and Morty vibes, says Super Wario? I don't know. I have no idea why you're getting Rick and Morty vibes. I'm trying to think of a Rick and Morty joke, but my brain is just not that powerful, you know? It's not that smart. It's not that good. I derp vacaciously through a sumer, says Wodong. Vacaciously. If only I was smart enough for that word. Hey, so what's your Rollercoaster Tycoon 2 series? I think you will be playing... Uh, RC2 multiplayer together with another hermit. Rem would be amazing. You can do that using OpenRCT2. I would love to do uh, multiplayer. That would be really cool. That would be really, really cool, wouldn't it? I, I'm not sure if I was aware of that one or not. Either way, I love the sound of that, playing some uh, multiplayer RCT. That sounds super cool. Right, I think we're, I think, oh, that's a wall. I think we've reached our uh, peak here a little bit. So that's all kind of ready for me to work on the overhang stuff now, which is going to be a lot of fun. X, your chat is in follow-only mode right now, so anyone that's chatting are following, says my man. Yeah, I, I decided to put it in that a while ago to uh, encourage people to follow. And I, I you know don't know how to measure if that makes a difference or not, so I figured it would just be a thing that I do. Uh, Silv, Silv, Silv says, you heard it here first, folks, RCT series coming soon. I did not say I'd, I did not say that, gee, Silv. I said, I, I mean, it sounds cool. When I'm saying something sounds cool, it sounds cool, doesn't mean I'm then going to go do it. got other priorities at the moment, but it's a nice idea. Unwoven Wainbow is here, resubscribing for 25 months in a row. Saying, well, it's that time again. Much love as always. Thank you, Rainbow. Appreciate it ever so much. Hope you're enjoying uh, your time on the Let's Play Minecraft together server. My, my neighbour here. My neighbour from another rainbow. Um, appreciate it as always. Thanks so much for the support. Real Wormbo is here subscribing with Amazon Prime. Thank you for the subscription, Wormbo. <laughs> I like the name. And Sweeney Dunstan is here throwing bits at me, doing cheers, saying, B-Day Dan's Game Party... Mr. Destructoid Cheer. Uh, is that a cryptic message that I have to decipher? Is that some sort of word like B D P M C? I don't even know what that means. Muk. <laughs> Muk de boop. I don't know. I don't know what it says. Uh, anyway, now that we're good on this front, I'm really not sure what's going to happen with this path yet. And I don't want to do too much over there. I need to figure out what's this is going to become, this this mould, this raised area. Um, there is something else that we can go do though. We've got another job on the cards. So let's tidy up the old inventory. Let's make it good. Good and tidy. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Saplings. You sort of just got to scan your eyes for it one by one I find. That's a good way to go. Put all these sort of things over to one side. Enderpearls, too. Right, um... Let's find a chest, in you go. So wood. Carpet and bone mill. Right, and then I think what we'll do is chuck away stone pressure plates and the carpets. They're just junk. Uh, Tamriel Stormborn says, X always makes me feel relaxed when I watch him. I think... It's because he's so organised. <laughs> That's an interesting reason for the relaxing. I like it though. It's good. It's good. Sweeney Dunstan says, Gotta keep you on your toes, X. Gotta keep me on my toes. Gotta keep that noggin ticking over. Otherwise I might do some derpy stuff. Now we're gonna we're gonna need uh, some of these. In fact, let's just pack away all of these chests. You never know where you're gonna go. You'll get distracted, you'll go somewhere. Uh oh, where are all of my neatly organised chests? It's time for some neat organisation relaxation time, people. Relax as the uh, as the shulker boxes go into the correct places. Oh, that one went into the correct place, and so did that one there. What have we got? 
Number 9 will be next. Oh, look at that. Neatly organised. Wonderful! Wonderful! Right, now let's continue on our way. Ow! I fell. I did not want to go down here. I've been tricked. I fell through a gap. Oh, jeez. No! No! Need a way out. Get me out of this black hole. I'm getting sucked in, peeps. There we go. Whew. Pale Ghost says, why your black hole not sucking blocks like a real black hole? Because uh, I didn't want it to be that sort of black hole. It was, it was just like a, a voidous pit, sort of, that you could fall into, you know. Uh, anyway, the place we're going to go to now... Ow, is breaking my knees. Uh, it's actually down here, can you believe it? Ooh, that might be a problem. Uh, or not. <laughs> Let's find out where this goes. Shall we? Ooh, and then it goes down again. Ooh, and it goes down here. That actually goes to the correct spot. Huh. And then... Oh, I see. So I landed and probably shuffled over. Right. So I know where this goes. Everything's good so far. Um, hmm. Rubbish Dave says, yeah, Turtle Man doesn't want a sucky black hole. LOL! <laughs> we don't want one of those. I uh, I actually think I might change my mind about the entrance to this area down here. So, this is one of our other projects, Meow. Hello, Meow. Meow. What a creative name. What a creative name. So, our other project is all the way down here. We've got to open up this space. Where the creepers get killed. Uh, I think what we might be smart to do is to make a staircase. Should we have a, a cheaty x-ray look at X's base? Dio! Dio! Want a cheaty x-ray look at X-ray's base, you bunch of cheaters? Hands up in chat if you want one. Uh, we got a we got a cheaty bits here. We've got some cheaty bits fro thrown at us from cheaty cats. Uh, I love cheaty cats, says meow. Cheaty meow. Thank you so much for the support, cats. Appreciate it as always. Hope you're having a good time with us. Uh, Humbly B says, yes, please, cheats. Ultimate Badass Annie says, X-Ray, hands in the air. I love cats snatching that fur place, says David. Savin, Ian, Ian. Uh, snatching that place on the leaderboard, cats. Spangleboo says, oh, X, that reminds me, you have a special little friend named Spangleboo in your base. Do I? Do I now? Oh, do you mean on Let's Play Minecraft together? Worm Man and Turtle Man are the new dynamic duo, says Musical HP. I like it, I like it. Right, now in order for you to see this this magic cheatiness of doom, i got to swap the camera over. No, on this service is Fangle, do I? I, I'm, I might have lost you there, I can't really remember. Let's go down here and click, click again. Please stream. Oh, oh, it works. It works. So where are we? What are you hearing? Down to the ominous void of the black hole. One may find cats and creepers hanging out, not coexisting, funneling the creepers into here. Um, so I was going to link it up to my base with a downwards tunnel from this section somewhere around here. Ah, there it is. Right. And uh, my thoughts were behind this wall. We could build a staircase. Apparently not. <laughs> Apparently that's not a place to build a staircase. Now, where are we most central to from this area? Oh, it's actually pretty central to the base. I wonder if that was ever an in intentional thing. How in line is this? I feel like... I feel like it's very close to being exactly aligned with this. So, something central as a way to get over there would make sense. Can't go through the sugarcane farm. But maybe... Maybe we could build like a grey creeper head and have an entrance here. Now it could go pretty much diagonal straight down to there. That, my friends, seems a lot more interesting. We could enter through the creeper's mouth. That sounded really weird. <laughs> Yay, Cheedy X-Ray, says H2O Firemaster. Yay, everyone loves Cheedy X-Ray. Should we try something a little bit uh, different for once? We, let's try something different. You can see, you can see Suma hanging out down there, can't you? You can see that little derp doing derp things. Let's go. Hi Twitch, I'm down here. Can you see me? 
I'll, I'll, I'll dig my way up to you. Let's try this. If I if I just head up there, um, I may actually get near to you. I'm I'm currently just a black, ominous void thing. Uh, now you can see me because I'm doing some magic over here. Let's uh. Let's also get my notifications back on screen. Because we have Diexio32 subscribing with Amazon Prime. Thank you for using your Prime subscription on me, my friend. I appreciate that support and I hope you're enjoying the stream. Right, now let's go click here. Aha, see, I'm pretty close. And then let's click back. And then let's click bait. You won't believe what is in X's latest video. Oh my god, you've got to go check it out right now. Or maybe you don't. Hi. Hi. Jeez, this makes this makes the video feel kind of odd. Uh, this music's awesome. <laughs> Asuma, you know, the Witcher, the bridge. Just stand on. When you're looking at it from the front, if you turn around and jump off the bridge, there's a random jungle wood that shouldn't be there. Just letting you know, says after you. But ah, okay, random jungle wood got you. Well, I don't know exactly what to do about that. If we were to build a creeper face, let's go look at a creeper quickly. If we were to build a creeper face, now I need a creeper face. That's a, that's a creeper face smile. Um, it kind of looks like, it kind of looks like we. What are we working with here? Like, is the bottom, Mister Mister? Would you please stand still for just one moment? Oh goodness me! Maybe when it falls down, uh, it might be of more help. Nope, you die very quickly. Okay. Uh, let's find one that's standing still. That's that's not going to be very likely, is it? I just want to look at their face for a moment. Jeez, they're all running away from me, it feels like. What if I click on one and go into selfie mode? Aha! A little too close. Back off! There we go. So, to me, it kind of looks like the bottom of his face is one pixel, and then the opening is on either side. Perfect! Perfect, my friend. I've seen exactly what I needed to see then. So, we kind of need like an 8x8 area... And then I know what the shape at the bottom is. This is some amazing, amazing use of camera account right here. This is some top-notch stuff we're watching. Right, now Sumer and his magic light. Ah, slight problem. Base is centered on a odd block. Uh, sorry, an even, not an odd. All mob faces are 8 by 8 so it's like I say, yes. So maybe, maybe we might not do the, uh, the creeper face entrance after all. I, I'm not sure. Because that just won't look right. Anyway. I'm not sure it will look right. I don't know. Like, you could you could have it off-center, right? Either way, if we were to do that, we'll leave ourselves the option. This will be our uh, entrance right here, okay? We'll go, we'll go clean up that other spot. I'll do that later, actually. Because I ain't got stone on me. So, after walking into this area a little bit, we want to turn it into a staircase, I guess. Uh, let's just... Give ourselves two blocks to kind of actually walk into this area. Then we'll go down diagonal. And, aha, there is like a drop here. Make it 15 by 15. It won't look too bad when you do it right. That's that's a good that's a good idea. Yeah, there may be a way to do it. There may be a way to convert a mob face into an odd whip and it not look so bad. But right now, I'm just focusing on, on the entrance. I was going to put it in that other spot. I really was. And then I kind of realized, hang on a second. This ain't going to be the best of entrances. Uh, you probably can't see what I'm up to now, can you? Bam. Sorry about that. Sorry, peeps. Doing a different type of, uh, different type of camera work here today, aren't we? I actually really quite like this. Thrilling stream content, says Orb. That might be sarcastic. That might be relation into the lack of being able to see anything that just happened. That might literally be what it is. Let's bring you further into the action, peeps. Let's get you closer down. Verizon Amiga says, Hey, peeps. Welcome to the stream, man. Uh, Tamriel Stormborn says, If we let Iskal do it, he may have a moustache on it by the end. Oh, that's very true. It'll become a creeperoni very quickly. Uh, that's uh, like a branch mine, I think. Yeah, we're getting... Oh, we are just going to jump right into this area, aren't we? Let's keep digging. 
Where is this tunnel going, says Mark? Uh, it's going down to the creeper farm. And there is a jukebox here. And there is lava! Oh, quick! Fill in the lava. Okay, it's been filled in. Right, so this bit here can do the off. So it'll lead us to down, to down here. Fair bit of leeway between uh, the end of the stairs and this space here, so that's pretty cool. I've got lots of records in these chests. Anyway, how how y'all doing? Do you like this camera camera mode thing we've got going on here? How come the camera is floating around, says Soda for Yoda? Because I'm, cause I'm a magician, because I'm a genie, you know? Look, oh, look, oh, look, I'm walking around. Oh, no, oh, look, the camera's moving, and the zoom is walking at the same time. How is it done? How on earth is that possible? Oh, goodness me. Oh, goodness me. We just don't know. We just don't know how it's done. Do we now? Uh... Uh, time to enter my brain. Uh, there doesn't appear to be anything inside. It's just an empty box. It's confirmed. Zoom said it's an empty box. Ugh. Oh, goodness me. That was, that was painful, man. That was painful. Needs back cam, says Cosmonaut. No, 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 Back cam. Oh, we're actually in back cam. Wait, come back here. Oi. Hey. Oi. I'm looking at you. I'm... Uh. Man, that... Dude, stop moving. Uh, where are you going? Hi. Oh, jeez. Uh, Mr. Bat, please settle down. He's settled down now. He's settled down. Hello. I'm gonna kill it. Bah! It's dead! <laughs> oh, we're gonna have too much fun with this, can't we? We can have too much fun with this. Technically, with this camera view, if X were to die, we'd get a great view. That's true. It's true. But I don't think I'm going to die unless there's some sort of creeper leakage coming out of here. Man, so many... Uh, that skeleton is an MVP. I don't know how many creeper bobs he's killed, but uh, it seems to be a lot of them. Right, I feel like what we should do is open this area up a little bit, you know. Dig it out, so to speak. I want to have a relative... Oh, jeez. Louise. Don't damage anything. Why Why is there water here? It's coming down from high up... Oh, wait. What is this? This is linked to something, peeps. Uh, this... Wait, what have I just destroyed? I think this is the remains of a previous... Yeah, it's the remains of a previous... Um, water stream thing. Look. That used to get used, now it doesn't, basically. Well, uh, I think that's all source blocks then, so I need to get in there and remove them one by one. Turn music down slightly, says Region and Wigo. Or I could shout. I could also talk louder, right? That's the thing we could do. I Love Cats is here doing a cheer, throwing bits at me, saying, OX, I've finally changed the strings on my guitar. The difference of sound is uncanny. Sounds amazing. I've been working on those power cords and the spider exercises. Uh, exercises. My fingers hurt. Super fun. Awesome, cats. Great to get a uh, update from you on that. Let's go back to this one. I uh, hope it's going well for you, man. I uh, I've been doing good with the guitar myself. Um, I got a video to publish. I was going to publish it today, but I think I'll publish it tomorrow instead, since uh, I'm not going to publish a video on the main channel unless there's another snapshot. So I'll give you something on the second channel, a music video. Going to be working on some more soon as well. But Cats, that's really great, man. Thank you as always for the support. Cats in chat saying, oh, I forgot to say meow. Talking loud is stupid. <laughs> talking loud is stupid. Okay, well, we won't talk loud then, jeez. I mean, is it is talking loud stupid when people can't hear you and you, you desperately need them to hear you? I think it might be smart in that situation. Maybe, maybe right now it's stupid, though. But yeah, uh, keep up the practice, man. Just keep going, going, going. String Changing your strings does make a lot of difference. I uh, I actually don't change my strings very often. Some people like to change them a lot. I'm not too keen on it. Purely because I'd just rather keep playing and practicing. Strings are great for sound, but not so much 
Like, you won't get a massive increase on, like, oh, I can play this better now, or, or this helps with my practice. It's more just, hey, it sounds good, right? So, I guess it'd be a good idea for me to change the strings more before I record, but I kind of record, you know, every week or every couple of weeks I do a video, so I don't want to change them that much. But yeah, if I was to, like, record a studio demo or something like that, then good time to change it. Did I break some redstone? That's that's a lot of redstone. I think I broke the ore block. Bleed Green says, actually, missed my sub, dude. Thanks for the entertainment. Uh, Bleed Green is here subscribing with Amazon Pride. Bleed Green, thank you for your subscription, man. I'm sorry that I missed it. I'm a terrible human being. Uh, I didn't mean to place that either. Jeez, right, let's put down some torches in this area. I appreciate your support, man. Thank you so much. Sorry for the, the late announcement. Uh, Joel Kip is here saying, but isn't a better sound beneficial as well for learning to play? Maybe. To me, not really. Like, you. It, here's the thing. Like, uh, I don't know what string cats had on it, but the, the difference in sound isn't crazy big. It's obvious. It's good. It's a good change. I don't, I don't, I don't think it's really beneficial to learning. Um, I don't think you learn too much more unless you're trying to, like, really. I don't know, maybe hear the pitch and of individual notes really well. It might make a difference then, but even then, that sounds a bit of a stretch. Right, um, here's the other thing. This room is kind of lopsided, and I don't think we'll try and do like a parallel perfect looking uh, room. So we'll continue digging out on this side, I guess. 90 minutes into the stream and no derp. Uh, Where's the rest of that message? Are you real? Asuma says, Fung Chun Zai 1999. I am the real Asuma. I'm the real Asuma doing no derps. That's that's what you're watching right now. The real Asuma, no derps. I'm from the YouTube video, says, uh, <laughs> it, it looks like three letters in Mandarin or Chinese, yet it also kind of looks like a cute cat face with crazy eyes. Just saying. Just saying. That's kind of what it looks like. Hmm, this makes me wonder if the Totemic mod has a guitar or other stringed instruments in Sword Major Mode. I'd have, I'd have no idea. No idea. Don't know much about me mods, me. Not very good at modded. Burned out on modded as well. Uh, very much so. I'm on like a modded vacation. Stenos says he did derp. There is still a pressure plate on the last jack o unless I missed him fixing it. Uh, I did fix it, and uh, I don't think that was a derp. don't think it was a derp at all. You lot of derp fiends, I keep having to go on about this. Not every little mistake is a derp. Humans make mistakes, okay? Derps make colossal mistakes. Gotta be colossal. Okay, then that goes around to here. Do we want to include some of this upstairs stuff in, uh, in this? I think what I want to do is get the bit behind them where you see them go up and down. I want to incorporate that into the build somehow. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but it'll work somehow, somehow, some way. It says Chesu, and that's Katana from Japanese, says Wodong. Thank you. I don't know what Katana or Chesu is, but now I know. I know that I don't know that I know something. Stena says Colossal is the requirement. Sounds good. I'll keep my eye on you. Dirt versus Spoon. Who will win, says Billy. I hate to spoil it, but I won the... the the bet, um, there was more spoonage than derpage earlier in the season, and so we changed the uh, the derp counter we have in our base to an entrance to another area, actually. That was, that was a fun little project. Did that just a moment ago, it feels like. Pale Ghost says, I thought only dads were allowed to make mistakes. I think anyone is. Jeez. Hey, you're getting all of those creepers, says Alpha. Uh, we've got a creeper farm back there. We're using cats to push them off of platforms. Well, not push them, but make them run away. You know? We've we've locked up some cats in our basement and they're meowing at creepers. That's kind of what's going on down there. Uh, I got some I got some stuff that needs tidying up. At this point, though, I'm just throwing away materials because it's a pain in the butt to run everything in the system. So, uh, these things over here can go. Don't need the dirty dirt, right? Do we? And I need to go put this... I am back in the correct place, and I need to walk over there. I guess we'll have to use the other side for now. This next bit's going to be tricky, actually. Uncle Tony says, and try not to forget uh, that the spoon himself built a double-digit spoon counter. 
Yeah, so we built another one, um, but the original spoon counter, that's the original derp counter, but it's been modified. Those were both the same thing. Good times for Scars join the game. Okay, what I need to do uh, is... Uh-oh. Uh, this is going to end badly. Here we go. No, no. I did not want to fall down there. I did not want to do that. Damn it. That did not work. That did not go as planned, peeps. We'll have to go back up here. Psycho Liquid has subscribed. Thank you so much, Psycho Liquid, for subscribing with Amazon Prime. I appreciate that. The Scientistist has also um, subscribed to Amazon Prime as well. Appreciate it, man. I need to hire Scar to do a little biome project in my area. Ugh! And then I hit that. Twice in a row, I hit that. Brilliant. Okay, now the place that I want to go is just over here, just so you know. Ugh! That was some water. I'm going to put that there. Fixed it. Awesome. Ilucat says, X, go to your top floor and search for a green parrot. Okay, let's go search for a green parrot. Has someone been using name tags in my base, have they? Come on. Search for a green parrot, they said. Ah! <gasps> How did you do such a thing, Spangle? That explains some of the parrot heads that I found lying around in this area. Polly. Wait, Polly is me. Polly. How'd you get over here, Polly? Polly. Polly, want a cracker? Right, here's another green one. Did we just find it first time? Did we just find the monstrosity the first time? That's right, I said monstrosity. Polly. Hi. They're renamed because of the mob cap thing. Uh, that's, that's a rather large one right there. <laughs> so it just happened to be, of all the ones, it just happened to be the first one that we tried. Amazing. Well then, you know what i got to do, right? You know what i got to do? Oh, I missed. Um, if I only had a bucket of lava. Monstrosity! Question marks in Spangle. You heard me. I leave cats as I am locked in X's basement, creeping away creepers. Indeed, indeed. Do you think Jeb has taken Minecraft in a better direction than what Notch envisioned for the game, says Harrow. Um, I don't think you can really, like, summarise the development of the game in that frame of a question. Um, Notch and Jeb are two different types of people with two different visions for this game. And uh, I, think, I think Notch's vision wasn't very archetypal overall. Like, it was just, you know, sort of following... The inspiration and the idea and the adventure of probably developing this game in the beginning. And, uh, yeah, he strikes him as a sort of person that, you know, needs needs inspiration, needs that as motivation to do stuff. And, uh, and you know, eventually just lost interest in it and wanted to move on. So I don't, I don't think Notch ever had, like, a grand vision for the game, whereas Jeb strikes me as more of a worker type, someone who will... You know, stick to a plan and keep doing the same thing year after year, which is kind of what we've seen, right? Anyway, getting a little distracted here. He would never kill something so cute, says Spangle. Jeez. Spangle, I'm letting you have the last word. Goodness me. Uh, peeps, it's been a wonderful little bonus stream today. I'm going to be streaming City Skylines tomorrow, and this one's a little bit shorter just because I'm going to go have um, some food right now. It's getting a little bit late. The voice is getting tired. Um, so what we will be doing here on twitch.tv slash Asuma is heading over to another channel. We will be conducting a raid. A raid is what we will be conducting. It'll be on full symmetry. Uh, in fact, I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to bring it back, peeps. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring the stream back. If you're left, you don't even know. Here's what we're going to do, peeps. Uh, I bet my elytra is going to break. It's probably got just enough. It's probably got just enough. We're going to go up into the sky. We're going to fly mighty fine and high. And uh, we're going to do a different kind of raid today. Okay. It's going to be an in-your-face raid. Where are you, false? Where is she? Um, it just kind of occurred to me. 
She might not be in her base. And she might be kind of hard to... F and I might die. Where is the false? I tell you what, peeps. Tell false. I'm in a base. <laughs> I don't know. I thought I might find her and, and give her a slap. And go, oi, raid. Uh, peeps, it'll actually end right now. Thank you for watching, everyone. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.